All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the 10 and 4 Detroit Lions, folks. We are so freaking back. That Kool Aid tastes as good as ever. The Detroit Lions. 42 to 17 home victory against one of the hottest teams and one of the best second half defenses in the National Football League on Saturday night against the Denver Broncos folks Jared Goff threw for five touchdowns but most importantly to me the defense looked really freaking solid and you're going to be getting some pieces back soon that are going to help take your defense to that next level for a hopefully deep playoff run guys they gave up just 287 yards of offense they put up 448 yards of offense this was absolutely huge huge bounce back victory to get that momentum back on your favor the last four or so weeks of detroit lions football has just been inconsistent it's been inconsistent and we saw pretty much a perfect brand of football play last saturday night and i absolutely love it so obviously guys today we're talking about the detroit lions before we get into it if you guys enjoy it, be sure to that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content lions fans love you guys as always i cannot wait for the final three games and the playoffs if we could try and get this video to 250 likes that would mean the absolute world to me so we'll talk about this game in just a second here's what really stands out to me with detroit is like first off you know we know this offense is just so freaking good you know, they're putting up over 27 points per game. Jared Goff just threw for five touchdowns. They're the fifth highest scoring team in the National Football League. We all kind of know at this point in the season that it's going to come down to the defense, right? It's going to come down to the defense. What I love about the Detroit Lions, defense, offense, coaching, it doesn't matter. When they need to win, when the lights are bright, they have won football games. The Detroit Lions this season are 4-0 in primetime. Week one against Kansas City. Week four against my Green Bay Packers, week eight against Vegas, and then last Saturday night against the Denver Broncos, they are just winning. And we can sit here and we can be like, yeah, man, they need some help pretty much everywhere on the defense. And by help, I just mean, you know, fill out the holes, bolster your roster, right? Just help that defense get into like above average territory. Keep in mind, they're extremely young. It's extremely young, but they're finding ways to win. So, yes, I could sit here. We could sit here and nitpick the Detroit Lions and say, well, you know what? I don't know if they're actually going to win their first home playoff game because of the defense. To me, it doesn't matter. And this is stuff we'll deal with when the time comes. The Detroit Lions next season, through the draft, through free agency, maybe even some trades here and there, that defense is going to be legit. And especially when we're talking about a lot of these young players, Brian Branch, Jack Campbell, even Aiden Hutchinson, just getting these young cats to the playoffs is just game changing. All right. Having that playoff experience is going to be game changing in the long run for this team. So let's talk a little bit more about the Detroit Lions. One thing I absolutely loved outside of just the 42 to 17 victory outside of the perfect offense, outside of a great defensive showcase was red zone efficiency and most importantly, zero turnovers. The Detroit Lions in the last month or so have been turning the ball over way too much it's been very uncharacteristic of jared goff it's been very uncharacteristic of the detroit lions first half of the season and yesterday or sorry two days ago at this point we saw zero turnovers all right but mo not more importantly but also importantly six of six in red zone efficiency all right that is going to win you playoff games if you can score touchdowns instead of field goals yes points count we're still going to take points but once we get into playoff football and you're playing Dallas, you're playing San Francisco, you're playing Philly, you need touchdowns. Those teams are, all three of those teams are going to put a bunch of points on the board. And I do not want to settle for field goals. I want touchdowns on the board. And that's exactly what we saw. And I got to look at my man, Jared Goff, huge game, 24-34, 278 yards, five passing touchdowns, zero interceptions. Uh, beautiful. Absolutely huge bounce back victory. If Detroit Lions, I won't even say it, never mind. One other thing I loved in the red zone specifically was Sam Laporta. Sam Laporta is having one unbelievable season. And obviously this is huge just for Lions fans in general, but I do got to say shout out Sam Laporta for pretty much winning me my fantasy first round of the playoffs this past weekend. Five catches, 56 yards, and three touchdowns. Sam Laporta on the year, 71 catches, 758 yards, and nine touchdowns. And the reason this is absolutely critical is because I'm on Ross St. Brown, who also had a phenomenal Saturday night game. Seven catches, 112 yards, and a touchdown. This is one deadly duo. And it's going to be a deadly duo for quite some time now. I'm on Ross St. Brown's in his third season. He almost has 1,200 receiving yards on the season. He's got 94 catches. He's got seven touchdowns. And we're going to pair those two together. 
But Sam Laporta in the red zone. Keep an eye on it for the next three games and keep an eye on it once the playoffs get here because it's going to be absolutely critical. This guy can block. He can catch. He can run routes. Sam Laporta is a future star. And uh, to be quite honest with you, he's kind of already establishing himself as a star, even though we're only 14 games into his NFL career. The run game paired with the pass game, uh, it's scary. And that's <laughs> the re and their offensive line, man. It it's all of it. They're putting up 27 points per game. They're going to make a deep playoff run if they continue to play the way they did this past Saturday night. Jameer Gibbs, 11 carries, 100 yards, and a touchdown. He averaged 9.1 yards per carry. David Montgomery, one of the best one-two punch duos in the National Football League, and especially with Jameer Gibbs being a freaking rookie. David Montgomery against Denver. And guys, keep in mind, the Denver Broncos defense, don't look at statistics. Their defense since like week six has given up 16 points per game. They've been one of, if not the best defense, I guess San Francisco exists. They've been one of the best defenses in the National Football League since pretty much they were one and five. All right. So keep that in mind. David Montgomery, 17 carries, 85 yards. As a team, the Detroit Lions ran the ball 28 times for 185 yards and a touchdown. They average 6.6 .6 yards per carry. Folks, we say it on this channel way too often. If you can control the trenches, you're going to control the game and you're going to win the freaking football game. And I love it. Now that we're getting into the final stretch of the regular season, we are finally start. We've seen plenty of glimpses, but we're starting to see it at a more consistent level, or hopefully we're going to start to see it at a more consistent level. This one, two punch duo, just it's so, this offense guys. They're so versatile. They're so versatile. And just to make it even sweeter, Jameer Gibbs, two catches for eight yards and a touchdown receiving. All right. Jameson Williams. Four catches, 47 yards. Uh, he had seven total targets. I know it's not the craziest stat line, but if you're a Lions fan, you're amped up right now because we're getting into, once again, the final three games of the season. And if my young cats, Jameer Gibbs, Jamison Williams, Sam Laporta, played the way they did this past Saturday night, watch out not only for this playoffs, but watch out for the future, all right? And obviously, we got to show some love to this defense. They did a phenomenal job. I know the Denver Broncos aren't this crazy, high-powered offense, but they don't make mistakes. They very, very rarely make mistakes. They're just an efficient football team at this point in the season offensively, even though they're not blowing up the stat sheet. Uh, you gave up less than 300 yards. I don't care who you're playing. That's a success in and of itself. And they only gave up 17 points. It was 21 to zero at halftime. All right. This was just a, a pretty much a perfect game of football. And I want to see this for the next three games. You've got some divisional opponents on the schedule this upcoming Sunday, Christmas Eve against the Minnesota Vikings. You also play them at home for week 18. And then you've got a very interesting, another primetime Saturday matchup two weeks from now against the Dallas Cowgirls. Guys, it's just getting started. The future's as bright as it ever has been. And the current present time, uh, 10 and 4, that works for me. So let me know what you guys are thinking about this Detroit Lions team. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button. But guys, let me know in the comments section how you're feeling about this Detroit Lions team.